Number one, one of the things that caught my eye is how new all the planes are. Number two would be the crew, and what I mean by the crew, I mean so many things, right? I mean the way you are greeted when you get to the flight, right? The way the Vista Jets carpets out, the way they greet you, the way they help you out with anything you need, and the way the service is done on the flight. And number three, every flight you're on, every aircraft you're on, seems like you're the first one to be on it because it's so well maintained and so new. The fact that no matter what I am in the world, no matter what flight, how long, where it's going or when it is, it's always the exact same quality of experience. A 10 out of 10, it's always we can ask for it, right? It's very few times in life where you look forward to a flight. We have flown to Spain and back with a nine month old and you know, get into the plane and having what's basically a playpen or a crib already there for us to have. It's something less than you to travel with. It's, it's so easy. They also have baby food on and, and the flight, you know, stuff that you travel with your own. But my wife is very, very demanding of what type of food she gets. Can't have any metals, any added sugars, any added anything. You have to be as pure as it can be. I remember the first flight they had it, I was just like, oh yeah, I've looked at this, this is great. I just couldn't get it at home. Knowing that every single flight attendant on board is trained to even take care of kids. It's amazing. After flying the 7500, it's, it's hard to say anything else is comparable. I have a house in the air and it's just me. And I went from the main cabin to the little couch and I get to the back room. Uh, you get to the, the, you have a bedroom with a mattress, regular pillows, a little library. I think that was one of the coolest things I've ever seen on a plane. You know, having the little, almost like a office. We got, I can see for a lot of businessmen being something really important, your own separation, right? And I have my dinner, laid on the plane and slept eight and, eight and a half hours easily, you know, on a mattress, as comfortable as can be. It's the only time I've flown, you know, over the Atlantic. It was a nine hour time change and I barely had any jet lag. A golf takes us so many places that it's tough to, to travel anymore, right? But some of the places we love spending time with, especially San Diego, it's kind of both leisure, vacation, and golf. And it's just such a relaxing place for us. It's our favorite city in the world, so. We make it a point every year to go to New York for three, four days. We just love it. And the one I can't forget, because my wife will kill me, is Hawaii. We have an event early on in the year in Hawaii, every year I've qualified for. And the week before, we usually fly the 26th or 28th, 7th of December for about a week. And we always go to Maui. We always go to the same spot, and those four cities or four places are, are our top. I can't ask for anything else.